All right. Now, you folks have seen some of our grounding and centering exercises. And when I do that, that centering for the core and proprioception and balance when they're standing, and you use your, your, your foot to trace the letters of the alphabet, A is for apple, asparagus, and always be kind. So what we're going to talk about, folks, to first is allergies, food hypersensitivity could be allergies or intolerances, and we'll tell you talk about the differences and go through some things that I think will make make sense to you, and maybe thinking about some foods that you're you're eating that may not be in your best interest. So an allergy is an overreaction of our immune system to what we call an offending agent or an allergen. And usually it affects multiple organs. So people say they've got a hives or a skin rash, they were sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, their, their throat tightened up with some shortness of breath, maybe they got some stomach cramps, bloating, diarrhea. And the worst case is anaphylaxis, which means the throat closes down and they have a hard time breathing. So allergies is usually multi-system. And the food intolerances, it's not an immune response. It's not activating the cascade of events that I just mentioned with the different organ systems. It's usually in the gut. And usually it's milk, the milk lactose, cramping and bloating. And I, I can drink a little bit of milk or have a small ice cream cone and have no problems. But if I eat too much, then I get this cramping and not this bloating. And so typically I don't have any milk. Rarely I'll have some ice cream. Some of the big offenders are peanuts, milk, eggs, fish, gluten, tree nuts, and shellfish.